My name is Yakim, Yakim Godelat. I would like to believe that I'm a photographer and uh, originally from Ethiopia. Uh, went to OU for graduate school in photography and my work is very much interested in <clears throat> identity. Uh, and so in a lot of the work that I do, there is this trace of myself or some sort of trace about Ethiopianism, I guess, uh, in the work. But also, I am very much interested uh, in the space between my subject and myself as a photographer. What happens in this unspoken space? If photographed, what does it look like? So those are the areas that I am going to be exploring for quite a while, I guess. For me, it is very fascinating how we hold on to our childhood memories. And when I think of Ethiopia, some of the memories that I have are within my own family. And like, for example, my grandfather praying, uh, Orthodox priest, uh, five, six o'clock in the morning, and that weird experience uh, of seeing my grandfather out in the woods, you know, reciting from the Bible. I have that vivid memory of that. Uh, or even my own father praying. Uh, and through my memory, I started to experience what life was like back home. Uh, when, when I say back home, I mean in Ethiopia. And in it also there are some images that are very dark, very uh, hard to uh, imagine, I guess. Uh, but again, censoring it. But it is for me to experience who I am. I became a photojournalist or I was interested in photojournalism because of how photography uh, depicted uh, what is true or what is truth. Uh, so uh, more specifically, how was photography used in depicting African or the uh, stories of African? Uh, I'm interested in this notion of photojournalist and how they depicted uh, uh, Africans in general. And uh, when I was still living in Kenya, I saw this photograph that was uh, taken by Kevin Carter, a South African photographer who uh, was photographing this girl, uh, a very little girl that was a Sudanese uh, girl that was trying to walk into a feeding center. But she was kind of curled into a little bowl. And then right behind her, there's this big vulture. You know, so this kind of the dichotomy of the survival of you know this human being, which we were supposed to be on the the top of food chain, and then there's this bird. So for me, that image really uh, uh, sent so much unresolved thoughts. The idea of truth then is very subjective on the photographer then I decided, I started believing that maybe it is best that I become a fine artist. Uh, that way I have that notion of saying, this is my experience. It may be true, but uh, at least I am tapping into my own experience of how I see, how I think, and basically what I hope. I think when I first came to Oklahoma, I was uh, interested in who I was as a person. So the project was more of a very documentary-based work, which was uh, exploring the idea of what it means to be an Ethiopian-American. So in order to do that, then I had to travel around the country and photographing or making portraits of Ethiopian-Americans and identifying myself with that group of people. So the Collaborative Self project that I'm working on, it came out of that. The Collaborative uh, Portraits work then is trying to answer the question, 
if I dress and act like an Ethiopian, will that make me an Ethiopian? So, this idea of dressing others in Ethiopian clothing and photographing them and then vice versa, wh what would that look like? I, myself, who've been raised in different countries, I'm always questioning my own identity as an Ethiopian. So, taking something that is very pride full uh, aspect of the Ethiopian culture, uh, especially the clothing, and kind of exporting that to others. If so, uh, how does that make the Ethiopians feel about seeing others dress this other clothing? This notion of exploring the American West as uh, a minority was a huge interest that I have. I mean, uh, as we are expanding westward, I was I started looking at people perhaps that may have looked like me, you know, in the history books. Uh, there is that that I mean that influence, and where is my history in this part of it? So you know, what in 2011 as an Ethiopian explorer, that's what I'm doing right now. It's just exploring the, the American West. I'm very much interested in exploring that in between space. Uh, in between homes. Uh, for example, my project dealing with domestic borders, Ex uh, exploring this notion of what separates us. I'm very much interested in that, and perhaps maybe that is where I'll be spending most of my time exploring the relationship between two countries or two continents. Uh, as we become more, or as we are already global, more globalized than ever before, how do we become closer to one another, yet also at the same time uh, separate.